Has Donald Trump and Nova panicked you about using paracetamol or Tylenol in pregnancy? Let me clear up the confusion because I'm an obstetrics doctor, I've seen the research and I've also seen the headlines. Now firstly let me be clear, there is absolutely no proven link between taking paracetamol, known as acetaminophen, and your baby developing autism or ADHD if you take it during pregnancy. Full stop. That's where we are right now with the evidence that we have. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists have their own advice page and confirm that paracetamol remains the safest pain medication that we can use during pregnancy as long as it's used as directed. And it's also the safest thing we can give to bring down a fever in someone with an infection in pregnancy. The truth is that anyone can conduct a scientific research study that they can design to show the answers that they want. But as doctors or anyone that is reading the evidence, we need to be able to check the way the evidence has been conducted before we make conclusions from what they're telling us it shows. For example, recent statements from prominent politicians selectively reference studies about this topic, including this Prada et al 2025 review that was published in BMC Environmental Health which has been well documented as being methodologically flawed. The statements put out about this paper contradict established medical guidance from major obstetric organizations worldwide, which consistently recommend paracetamol as the safest analgesic option for pregnant women when we use it appropriately. The most comprehensive and methodologically sophisticated evidence that we have on this topic comes from a Swedish population-based study that was published in JAMA in April 2025, a very reputable journal. It analyzed 2.48 million children that were born between 1995 and 2019. And this study employed sibling control analysis. Their findings were clear. When they controlled for confounding variables, things that could skew the results, there was no evidence of an increased risk of autism or ADHD with paracetamol use in pregnancy. And this approach is particularly powerful given that siblings of children who have autism are approximately 20% more likely to receive an autism diagnosis themselves. So you don't know if siblings got it, if that's paracetamol use or not. This study was controlling for that. So what do we need to know now? Well, firstly, untreated high fever in pregnancy can pose real risks to your baby. It can give them learning challenges later. So we recommend taking medication to bring down a fever. Also, as with all medication in pregnancy, we advise using the lowest effective dose for the shortest duration needed. That's just sensible. And finally, people with autism and ADHD are loved and hugely capable. I am so sorry if any of this rhetoric and the fact we're even talking about this makes it seem like you are somehow inherently flawed or less valued by society. Words of these politicians absolutely do not represent the view of the rest of society. Whatever your view, please interpret statements like these always with a pinch of salt and a healthy dose of skepticism. If you're worried about what to do, please talk it through properly with your doctor before you make any big moves.